It's a big weekend for border cricket with a full round of T20 matches and a big rep game. A number of players is set to play key roles in both playing at home in the afternoon, then trekking to Wagga for the regional bash night match. The Raiders will enjoy a return to the short format while Aubrey yet to win a T20 game. The two meet at Bilson Oval. Two teams that really desperately need a win. I know Raiders have had a good win in the, in the last T20 they played in. Um, but yeah, you'd think Aubrey would, uh, would really give it a, a red eye crack this week and get on the board, but I'm going to stick with the Raiders. East Aubrey are two from two, but face a dangerous Belvoir team who look hard to beat at Kelly Park. I think they go into this one as favourites. East Aubrey need the victory, even though the T20 points don't go to the main ladder, but uh, yeah, Belvoir for me. Les Cheesley Oval hosts the top two T20 sides in Wodonga and Lavington in what shapes as a match of the round. Yeah, look, a cracking game. Uh, got a, a number of uh, players that represent the Bullets um, <coughs> in both teams. But, yeah, Lavington will bounce back. I think they'll win and they'll win well. Tulangata have lost both their T20 games but should account for bottom place New City at home. Meanwhile, St Pat's face a side unbeaten in any format this year, North Albury, with a match to be played at Xavier Oval. They're just a good all-round team at the moment. They had a good victory in the in the 50-over format against Lavington last week. Uh, but yeah, North Albury going to favourites. All matches will be played from 12 on Saturday with a 15-man Border Bullets representative T20 side then hitting the road to Wagga for Saturday night's regional bash. I think they'll, uh, they'll perform really well and I reckon they're excited to get down there uh, in Wagga and, and play three good games and hopefully get off to the MCG, uh, SCG. Stephen Murphy, Prime 7 News.